Okay, so welcome to the third video in the series. In this one we're looking at Windows 3.0. Right, again it requires DOS, again we have to type in Win, and of course it has changed quite a bit in this version. As you can see we have the new Program Manager uh, user interface. 3.0, uh, 1990 this is, and I will bring up uh, information in a minute, but let's just go through programs and see how they've changed. So file manager, we no longer have MS-DOS executive and we have a um, file manager instead so I can go to setup and that's where I copied the files to set it up but I've deleted them now. These are all the Windows files, files that Windows requires. Um, we can't close this because it's the only one here. But we can close this, of course. It's all safe settings, okay. Click the control panel. Now we have an okay, icon based control panel now. So we can change the colour settings, obviously. So. Arizona. So on. We can uh, do that. Change the fonts. We can add and remove fonts. So I say I wanted to have courier as default still. Ports through the COM ports. Mouse, we can choose the mouse speed and double click speed. And obviously it tells you when you right and left click. Desktop desktop settings. Pattern desktop background. So you know pattern all that. There's about three eighty six processors, I don't have that. I have much newer program. Printers. International, basically choose your language, choose your location. Don't know what it says UK you can do when I set it as UK get it when I set it up. And it'll ask for a floppy disk when I do this. Yep. That's a floppy disk. Floppy disk. Uh, keyboard. Oh, it does have a UK keyboard though, so as I wanted. Date and time. Sound. And of course you can select them here as well. Print manager has to be printing. Clipboard. Clipboard has changed. Obviously, you've got these menu bars now. Okay, after a quick break filming that, we're going to continue. Uh, as you can see in here, we can actually access the DOS prompt. Now, uh, if I type win it goes back to Windows and that's fucked up that. Windows setup just gives you information about the setup. And of course a read me. And notepad really hasn't changed that much. If we go to uh, accessories, you can see we now have right it's pretty much the same. Change the fonts of course. We can actually have more fonts now we can choose from, so we can choose Terminal, for example. This is Microsoft Write. So we can change the fonts cl clearly there. Paintbrush or Paint now actually has colours. That has just fucked that up. There we go. So paint is obviously updated, so we have new features on paint. Change the colours of course. I need to use a different virtual machine for the next one because 16 megabytes of RAM isn't doing this properly. Terminal, of course, we need to use a COM port to use terminal because I can't type on here. Notepad, no change, exactly as it was in the previous version, so 2.0. 
uh, record it. Make sure you record macros. I've no idea how you do this. But card file. Card file hasn't changed. New card file. Uh, there we are. Card file hasn't really changed that much. Calendar, pretty much exactly the same as it was before. The major changes start to come in the next version of Windows, Windows 2.1. So as you can see, calendar pretty much the same. Calculator. Changed a bit clock. We can now have a digital clock. That's pretty much the only difference. Piff editor, exactly the same. So as you can see, most things haven't really changed, but I will be reading some actual features that improved um, shortly. Well, I've done the well, so far, this looks like it's going to be the um, quickest um, video out of this series because really all it is is just an update to how it looks from what we can see however we'll be going over a list of new features also we can notice that the clock is actually updated here on the digital mode let's look at the uh, game shall we yeah, you now have solitaire I have no idea how to play solitaire other than the fact that you have to drag these on top of things so does that go here? You have to drag them. So um, there must be a way of doing this, but I do not know how. But it's solitaire. That's what it is. Solitaire. Reverse. Exactly the same as the previous version. You can tell because the graphics are really low quality. So anyway, now we've looked at Reverse and the games. We're going to look at... Well, we ain't going to look at I'm going to go over the um, new features. So, first thing to point out is it was was released on the 22nd of May 1990 so it's 26 years old and it originated in 1999 when two Microsoft developers decided to um, uh, independently develop objective mode windows as an experiment it has a a revamped user interface, you can see that yourselves. The memory management capabilities um, of 286 and 386 processors are improved. Um, of course, the ability to run uh, MS DOS programs in a window, as in, we have editing, we have an MS DOS program. We, we, uh, you don't have a mouse, but you just use it alt and so on like we did in the older version of Windows. However, um, games and entertainment programs uh, were not really supported in this and required uh, to be running DOS itself. Of course, the MS DOS executive is replaced with the program manager, as we can see here. And the system requirements are uh, 8086 to 8088 processors or higher, 384 kilobytes of free conventional memory in real mode, 1 megabyte in standard mode, or 2 megabytes for enhanced mode, 6 to 7 megabytes of free space on the hard disk, CGA, EGA, VGA, Hercules 8514A. Or XGA graphics and an appropriate incompatible monitor and MS DOS version 3.1 or higher. Microsoft Mouse is also recommended. Now, the p 
to, to point out that um, it cannot be running EGA. Uh, it cannot be running full colour on 8088 or 8086 processors uh, due to the VGA driver and the EGA driver containing 8186 instructions. So there's a different memory mode, so we have real mode for older computers, uh, for the processors below 286s, standard mode for computers with 286 and above, and 386 enhanced mode intended for newer computers with 386 processors. Real mode um, was supposedly primarily existing as a way to run Windows 2 programs as it was removed in Windows 7.1. Um, and of course, it was also Windows 3.0 with more media extensions, which were released in October 1991 to support SAG cards as well as CD ROM drives, as were becoming popular then. It was released um, obviously for that. Software support. It was the first version to see widespread use, so uh, external developers developing software for the operating system. Supposedly, there was also a software update which was never released to increase the speed of this floppy disk drive. Because, because by the time it was ready to be launched, a new version of Windows was released, as in Windows 3.1, and that would have had it built in. And obviously, they would want you to buy Windows 3.1 instead of keeping Windows 3. So that is basically the new features. Basically, w this is basically a 386 uh, version of Windows 2.0, uh, and Windows 3.1, obviously, is the one that contains all the improvements. This is just a, st I wouldn't call it a stopgap, but it, you could say it's a stopgap in between two versions. As a web, we were used to using the new interface, and obviously the interface didn't last that long. It lasted for five years, and then we came to uh, the Windows 95 interface, which lasted for a, for about 15, 16, 17 years. So we can shut out a Windows now, and we go back to the DOS box. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.